guys, it's your girl, Ashley Kirkwood with the Speak Your Way to Cash podcast, where we teach you how to start at the top of the speaking market instead of working your way up from the bottom. During this show, you will hear solo episodes from me, where I'll show you how I have landed and negotiated five and six figure speaking contracts and licensing deals. You'll also hear from our amazing guests who have grown enormous speaking businesses by utilizing sales and marketing principles that work. If you want to grow your speaking business, listen to this podcast. And then afterwards, head on over to ashleynicolekirkwood.shop and grab my book, Speak Your Way to Cash, How to Start at the Top of the Speaking Market Instead of Working Your Way Up from the Bottom. Ready to dive in? Let's go. Hey, y'all. What's up to the Speak Your Way to Cash family? It's Ashley Kirkwood back again with another podcast episode. But this time, guys, I am actually going to let you listen in to a live video that I recorded. Now, if you're listening to this live video on the podcast and you're like, oh, I want to join your next live. I want to ask you questions. I want to be able to get feedback about my business. Then you have to follow me on Instagram at The Ashley Nicole Show and make sure you're following the Speak Your Way to Cash Facebook page. All right. Make sure you're following the Speak Your Way to Cash Facebook page because that's where I go live. I also sometimes go live in the Speak Your Way to Cash Facebook group, but enough about that. Even though you may have missed it live, you're about to hear it again. So listen into this live episode and let me know what you think. You can always send me an email to Ashley at speakyourwaytocash.com. Let's listen in. Hello. All right. So we are going to be talking about how to land your first paid speaking contract. My name is Ashley Kirkwood. I'm the host of the Speak Your Way to Cash podcast. I'm also an intellectual property attorney by trade. I left my $300,000 corporate legal job to start Speak Your Way to Cash and a firm. While working at my firm, you guys, I started getting all these clients that wanted me to renegotiate their contracts. And I would renegotiate their contracts, get them better terms. And then from there, from there, they would actually love the renegotiation even more than the legal work that I was providing. And I actually ended up loving that more. And so for the past year, we've been focused exclusively on running Speak Your Way to Cash, helping speakers get paid to speak, teaching them how to negotiate their own deals, teaching them licensing, all of the things. And one of the questions that we received from a listener of the show, someone who's on our list, was about how do they get started in the speaking business? And so we're going to talk today about how to land your first pay contract, kind of what to do, some things to consider. It's going to be a really good conversation and I'm excited to have it. So let's see. All right. I want to read you all the question before we even dig a little bit deeper into that. Also, guys, I don't know when you're listening to this episode, but if you have not registered for the Pitch Your Way to Cash Challenge, make sure you register. Just go to pitchyourwaytocash.com to register for that individual challenge. It's going to be incredible. And we're going to talk about pitching. So if your biggest challenge is figuring out where to start, pitching is definitely going to be a part of your solution. So here's the question that we got in. I don't know where to start in getting clients. I have a message and stage presence. I have done a lot of unpaid speeches, even a commencement speech. Where do I start? So number one, you're going to start with the problem that you solve. That's always going to be the start, like the problem that you solve. And then from there, you are going to go on to figure out who is the audience that has that problem and not just the audience that has that problem, but you want to figure out who's the audience that can pay you to resolve that problem from them. And one of the things that I have realized and that we put this in the Speak Your Way to Cash book is like you want to, if you're unsure about where to start, your first start will probably be our fame method, note registered trade trademark around that or no trademark around that. So with the fame methodology, when you're going to be thinking about what do friends and family say about you when deciding what you're going to speak about, then you're going to figure out who's your audience. And when I say who's your audience, you really want to think through who is the audience that can actually pay you. So not your paying audience, your client isn't always the people that you'll speak to. So there's a big difference between like, hey, I want to speak to teens. Well, that may be the audience, but then who's going to actually pay you? Who's the client? The client may be school districts. The clients may be government entities that work with teens. The client may be nonprofit entities that have grants to serve teens. So that's kind of where you want to go through next. And then the M in the fame method is monetization. What are the strategies that you're going to use to monetize your speech? Get paid. Got books? You got courses. Um, what do you actually have in order to get paid to speak? So monetization is a really part, a really big part of the consideration as well. And then the E in the fame method is going to be education and experience. What does your education and experience say about 
who you should be serving. So you want to make sure that whatever your topic is, it's totally in alignment with who you are, right? So that's that's that. So the first step after deciding whether you want to get paid to speak is utilizing this fame methodology to get the results that you want. So thinking about what you should talk about, figuring out who your audience is, separating that from who your buyer is, looking at what you're going to monetize, and then figuring out where how your education and experience plays a role in what you're doing. So that those are some things that I would for sure consider. That would be like my first step is to think about the fame methodology. And we cover that in chapter, I think it's three of the Speak Your Way to Cash book. We go into depth. We go more into depth about each of those elements. So after that, what should you avoid? What should you avoid? Now, this is really important. When I first came on the scene as a speaking coach, I was very big on not getting caught up in pretty stages. We believe in profitability over pretty stages. And what that means is you may have an amazing speech. It sounds like you have really good stage presence. And if I were a betting woman, I would bet that you really, really, really enjoy speaking. So what happens when we love something is we will do it even if we're not being paid for it. That's typically how you figure out what your passion is. You look over the course of your life and see what have I been doing my entire life? Maybe I haven't been paid for it, but every time I do it, there's a transformation that's caused in someone else. So here's what you got to look out for. You need to start taking engagements that are in direct alignment with your business goals, not just your passion. What do I mean by that? Stop speaking for free without a strategy. Speaking for free on the front end isn't always bad if there's actually a strategy tied to it. But when you're speaking for free, like you're going to the girl boss brunches and you're like speaking on the panels and you're doing the things and it's all free, it can very easily make you busy, so busy that you don't see the opportunities that are around you to get paid or it gives you this false sense of I'm doing so great even though you're not being paid. And at the end of the day, it's not great. Is not great for you because you're feeling like I'm giving so much, I'm not getting enough. And yeah, it was fun, but it's not sustainable. So now if you're someone who just is so committed, like I have to speak for free because of whatever, what we started doing was we tied our revenue goals to free. So once we hit 100K, we do a free engagement. And not just a like willy nilly free engagement, like if a organization needed us to come out, if my church needed me to do something like we we could do it that way. That was how we were able to do it. But also there are some times when you might speak for free in order to leverage that opportunity and get paid. But there has to be a strategy behind it. And where I see a lot of speakers miss it is they speak with no strategy behind it. Speaking is also a marketing tool. Now, my favorite way to market my speaking is to get paid on the front end and the back end. So organizations organizations will, especially associations will pay me to come in and keynote or do a workshop and my ideal audience will be in the room. So I got five figures to get in the room. And then I'm also pitching like two people who have more additional revenue for me to collect because they're, I have what they need. Right. So like that is a strategic way to speak and get paid on both sides of the fence. But let's say there's a conference that you could go to and you'll be speaking to 500 people who are all directors of industry. Would you speak for free in that instance? It depends. What does it depend on, Ashley? Well, I don't know for you, but for me, what we look at is we try to figure out if within 30 days of that engagement, would we get more than our speaking fee? Would we get double our speaking fee? Well, why double? Because it's a risk. So if I go into an engagement and I speak for free, but I feel like I could get $50,000 $50,000 out of that speaking engagements from upsells that I make to the audience, well, then I really didn't speak for free and I'm okay either way. But I do the analysis of whether or not I believe I could get double my speaking fee because only when I'm able to do that analysis, because like if I, if I believe I can get double, I know I'll at least get the fee, right? Unless everything goes wrong. And now you may be wondering, I'm gonna give y'all some real fire today. If y'all ready for this fire, drop fire in the chat. And if y'all are on the podcast, like honk your horn or something. No, I'm just kidding. Don't honk your horn. You may be in the car. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Don't do that. Be safe. Safety first. Here's how I found out whether or not I could convert a room by speaking. And when I say convert a room, I mean, I found out that I was able to get up in front of an audience and sell them a product or service through the use of my words by selling books. Like I used to go to these big conferences and I would sell my books in the back of the room. Well, my husband saw, my husband would go with me and like we would do one session and I would go up to the front and I would talk, I would do my session and I'd say, hey, you know, we have some books in the back. 
And we made like a thousand bucks selling books. And this was this was super early in my speaking career. So I was like, I don't know. I sell these books like a thousand dollars. That's pretty good. Like, I think that's really good. And my husband was like, OK, yeah, but we need to switch up the way that you present. So I went back to the front of the room. But this time he's like, this time I want you to read from the book, wave the book around, hold the book, flip through the pages, tell people who have the book to do certain things. Like literally y'all should actually buy the Speak Your Way to Cash book. But imagine we were at a workshop and for like the first part of the workshop, I'm like, okay, guys, you all should buy the Speak Your Way to Cash book, blah, 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 blah. Well, the second time I do my workshop, I'm like, hey, the Speak Your Way to Cash book, it's incredible. Matter of fact, look at this. On page 46, there's a chart. And on the chart, I actually go through ways to identify your audience, corporate versus college. And it's a, it's like a graph where literally it takes you through the decision matrix between who your audience should be. And the only people listed on here are people that actually could pay you. It's crazy. The graph is right here. I'm looking at it right now. It's incredible. True story, y'all. True story. The graph is in the book on page 46 for you, those of y'all that got it. Which one is more persuasive? Well, number two is more persuasive because it's like, dang, what is she looking at? How do I get it? I want that. And it's true. It's all true. Like it's in the book. The book is off the chain. Well, my husband saw me do this presentation. And at the time I was selling the law school hustle book and he would take notes about when the points in my message where people would lean in. The points in my message where people would like run to the back to get the book. He would look at the points in my message where people were super duper duper engaged. And then he would take all these notes and afterwards, because I would be doing multiple sessions for a particular conference. So let's say session two, he gives me all the notes. Session three, we were able to implement those notes to get even better. What a lot of people do when they speak, particularly when they're speaking for free, is they go to these events, they do their engagement, they find out if someone's going to pay them, they look at their numbers, they do the next event, they do the exact same thing, and then they're like, oh, I'm not getting paid. And it's like, no, you're not supposed to get paid because you didn't get better. Like, the truth of the matter is, when you think about, when you analyze great people, they always prepare for the game. And if you're going to be a professional speaker, which all of you are, right, we prepare for our speeches, you're not going to see me get on stage and be a total like, I ain't go, I don't want to say that. Nothing. <laughs> I don't want to say anything offensive, but you're not going to see me get on stage and be like, duh, 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 duh. what's wrong, folks? Like, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to prepare. Now, when you get on stage to speak and you're not being paid, your objective is different. Your objective is to move your clients closer to making a decision to work with you. So the only way you're able to get paid for speaking from your audience is if you're very conscious of the fact that you want them to take an action and you have to have a call to action for them to take. If you don't, then you're going to get up there and try to sell them something and it, it's not going to work because your entire message wasn't leading them to that result. So the way that I give a speech where I am presenting an opportunity to my audience is very different from the way that I give a speech when my indie, when I've already gotten my check, I've already gotten paid right? The examples that I use may be different. The, the tone of voice that I use may be different. And so I am a firm believer that you can 100% go somewhere, not get your fee on the front end, get it from the audience, and it could be even higher than what you would have gotten on the front end. However, for a lot of people that I work with, they aren't putting in the reps in order to monetize speaking in a way where they don't even need to get a fee on the front end. So my clients, a lot of them want to get paid to speak on the front end. They're like, I ain't doing all that sales, Ashley. I'm not about to go through and do the mental gymnastics that it takes to sell to people with my voice. I ain't doing that. Now me, Ashley Nicole Kirkwood, I do both, right? Like I go on webinars, I go to events, I speak, I collect leads, I get paid from the audience, I get paid from the organizer. I may waive my fee from the organizer and just get paid from the audience. I may get paid from the audience. I may get paid from the organizer and not sell nothing on the back end to the audience, or I may do both. But the real point of all of this is you have to decide your objectives on the front end. And you need to think about it too. Why should you get paid to speak? Now let's roll this back. Let's roll this back, right? Why should you get paid to speak? Well, once you give away your intellectual property, you can't get that back. So what you have to figure out is what is the value that my speech is going to have on the audience? So when I'm when a company brings me in to speak on the currency of confidence and how people can overcome imposter syndrome and achieve the goals that they have in life and all of that, when they bring me in to do that, the value to them is, 
more empowered employees are going to give better ideas. They're going to speak up before they leave a company and quit and try to make that environment better for them on the front end. We're going to make their employees more productive. We're going to do all of that. We're going to make managers better managers. We're going to make employees or subordinates better subordinates by being able to actually manage up because they have confidence, like that's the value to them. So I have to make sure that I'm communicating that to them. Now, when I go somewhere and someone's like, hey, Ashley, I have a conference with 5,000 entrepreneurs. We want you to come in and speak. We're going to fly you out. We're going to handle your hotel, your airfare. We're going to fly you first class. We're going to put you, your nanny, your husband, and your daughter up in a beautiful two-bedroom suite at your favorite hotel. But we ain't got your speaking fee because that's how you're going to have to come to me, right? But like, if you come to me like that and I'm like, all right, bet, who's going to be there? Like 5,000 entrepreneurs. I'm like, okay, great. What data do you have on them? Who are they? Because the number of people in the room can be persuasive, but only if it's the right people in the room. If I show up and it's 5,000 toddlers, I'm not getting my fee from that audience. So you can't get caught up on the numbers, on the metrics, on how it looks, on how popular the person that asked you is. You have to really understand the metrics. The biggest mistake that people make and what you should avoid is this, getting being too impressed with the person that asked. Avoid it. Avoid it. Now, here's the other thing. <laughs> Someone's like toddlers. <laughs> yes, and I'm so glad this is helpful for you guys on Clubhouse as well. So look, here's the thing. There's a few reasons why I would consider speaking for free. So the one, first one we already talked about. Can you get your your can you get two times your budget from the audience? Do you at least think about it? Because honestly, y'all, we don't know. We don't know. Now, the more reps you do, the better you get at figuring out who your ideal client is. If they tell you, like if somebody told me, I got 5,000 black women, corporate minded, who are looking to go into entrepreneurship, I can get my feet from the audience. I have a solution for those women that will blow their minds, change their life and rock everything in a positive way for them. So yeah, I'd show up, I'd rock it, I'd get double my fee and it'd be great like easy because I know exactly who I serve. But if you don't ask those questions, like you don't get that data. So number one is like, can you get your fee from the audience? Number two, is it a relationship that is more valuable than your fee and the time that it would take to get out there? Now, here's where it gets a little tricky. I have a lot of valuable relationships, but the truth of the matter is I also have to consider who I'd be saying no to. So every time I say yes to an opportunity, I'm saying no to time with my daughter. I'm saying no to time with my husband. I'm saying no to time with my family. So it has to be like this relationship is mutually beneficial financially or someone is asking me that I say yes to because of who they are, like parents or my husband or my daughter, right? Like they're like, it's whatever. Like maybe like I have some best friends that like if they need me, I'm there. You know what I mean? It's not a big problem. But just because somebody asks, nah, that ain't gonna happen. Or because we cool, nah, that ain't gonna happen. Like you just gotta think about it. Now here's the other people that I do stuff for. Being 100% transparent. I do stuff for people who've helped me in the past. Like if you're someone who's helped me make money in the past, like you've you've been a coach, you've been a mentor, you've been a guide to me, you've been someone who has really made a positive influence in my life, then that may be someone that you do something for. Because guess what, y'all? The older we get, the more we understand that relationships are their own currency. And here's the other thing. It's some people that it's just real good. Certain people ask you to do stuff. It just may be good to like have that number in your phone for when you need something. Right. And then there's um, another category would be like mission driven stuff. Like it's a mission that I really believe in. I just want to be there. I just want to do it. And sometimes you do stuff just because you want to do it. Like you just want to do it. Right. You just want to do it. But there needs to be an analysis. And then also when I'm thinking about what I'm going to do, where I'm going to speak, how I'm going to do it. I have a framework by which I make all decisions. And the framework by which I make all decisions is very simple. I've said it before. It's three parts. Does it glorify God? Does it advance my family? Does it help my career? Does it glorify God? Does it advance my family? Does it help my career? That's my framework for making decisions because when I need to focus or narrow, I just go through that framework. Like, hmm, it don't fit no buckets. It's a no. It's a no. But everything does need to have some level of strategy. Here's the other thing, y'all. There are some periods in your life where you are on a very focused mission. Like this year, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I have goals. Like <laughs> I got goals this year. I have things I have to get done for where we are going over the next five years. And so anything that would be a distraction to the goal is a no. And I think this really goes to you understanding the seasons that you're in in your life. But I want to I want to give a really clear answer before we even talk about like seasons and goals and all that stuff. If you want more clients, if you want more money in your business, this is what you need to do. Ask for it. 
It may sound simple, but you need to ask for it. That's why we teach pitching. I often find that people who don't get paid to speak, the one, number one reason is because they keep waiting for opportunities to come to them. And the opportunities that come to them based on their positioning in the marketplace are almost, almost always free because they're giving off free energy and all their content and their videos and all their stuff. So they're attracting free opportunities. However, they want to get paid to speak. Well, I get a lot of opportunities that are really good and that I really enjoy because I go out and I find the people who have the opportunity and I ask them directly to consider me for that opportunity. What that means is I place myself in a position to be rejected more than other folks. So if you want to get more money and you want more opportunities, then you need to start placing yourself in positions to get rejected more than other people. And that ain't fun. But basically, I mean, you need to start pitching. You need to start selling. You need to start putting yourself out there developing relationships with other people. The reason I find that people like inbound opportunities more than outbound is because inbound opportunities give you a false sense of security. And when it's inbound, you don't got to worry about being rejected because you're only talking to people who want to work for you. But if you're at the place in your life where you want to grow or you're at the place in your life where the only inbound opportunities that are coming to you are free opportunities, are unpaid opportunities, are unproductive opportunities, they're opportunities that won't catapult you forward in any significant way, then you need to start putting yourself in the inbound boxes of decision makers that can transform the opportunities that will come to you. And here's what happens. In the beginning, I was pitching thousands of people a month. Now I don't have to do that as much because I did the heavy lifting of pitching so many people in the beginning that now money opportunities are coming in my inbox. And now, because I talk about getting paid to speak, I talk about positioning, I talk about what we do and how we transform organizations and executives and lives and all the things, people don't really expect me to do stuff for free. So now if I want to do something for free, I actually have to let people know I'm open to that because of the opportunity that's before me. So it's a total 360 now. So I would also say, if you are always getting free people, cheap people, people that want to work with you that you don't want to work with, I want you to look at your language and then I want you to elevate it. I want you to elevate your language. I want you to talk about being a premium brand and luxury and how you love to provide bespoke experiences and how you take pride in your work and how you have a team and how you have departments and how there is a system by which you work with people. Like literally elevate your language and what you'll find is there'll be a certain category of people that will come to you because I'm gonna tell you the truth. There's a lot of people that I probably should have worked with, but because the only thing I see from them are promoting uh, cheaper opportunities and experiences, I just assume it's not for me. So if you got, let me just be honest, you got a membership, you know, that's like $10 a month. I assume that's not for me because it's the price doesn't attract me. And I'm used to, I'm just going to assume it's not for me. It, it is what it is. So your price can attract buyer and it, your price is talking for you, even if your mouth isn't. So it's saying like, it's like, you know, some people like it's giving, like sometimes, you know, it's giving, don't pay me nothing. So you want to make sure that your content is elevated. You want to make sure of all that. I will never forget a um, police union. It was like a, a police union reached out to us to speak and, and they were like, we need you to keynote. And I gave them my rate and they were like, we knew it was going to be expensive. <laughs> and I was like, well, good. I mean, the, good. I'm glad that you knew, like at least something that they saw said, I'm going to have to come about some money to work with her. I like that. I love that for me. And I love that for y'all too. So I want, I want you all to have that. So, th so I hope that this has been helpful in terms of figuring out like where you should start. So one, you start with your, the problem that you're going to solve. Then you're going to go through the fame methodology and figure out what your audience is, what your message is, what you should be speaking about. Then you're going to have to go out and, get, and catch some rejections. Okay. And that just means you're going to have to go out and pitch. You're going to have to go out and pitch. And y'all, rejection should equal redirection for you. It shouldn't mean that you stop. It shouldn't mean that you're not good. It shouldn't mean that you should give up. It literally could be, it could be serving as a redirection mechanism for you. And if you are concerned about, well, what do I say? Who do I reach out to? How should I pitch them? What do your pitches look like? What, like, what do I do next? Where should I go from here? I literally have something that is perfect for you. If you are asking those questions. I have something that is so perfect for you. Like literally drop perfect in the chat, drop perfect in the chat. If you want to hear what I have for you, it is custom designed for you. I made it just for you. And literally when you come through, I will change. I cannot like, I've done this so many times now. I think we've done this like four times this year. I can all but guarantee because I'm a lawyer, so I ain't gonna never really guarantee. Right. But I could all but guarantee that if you allow me to, if you submit to our process and you give me a couple of days, I can change the way you think about your business. 
I can all but guarantee it. Someone's like, perfect, tell me what it is. We're doing a five-day live Pitch Your Way to Cash Challenge, and I'm going to come on live, and for five days, I am going to teach you how to pitch. And what you're going to do after this five days is you are going to gather up all the skills you've learned, and you are going to go out and change your life. And here's how we're going to do that. On day one, we're going to cover how to overcome rejection. On day two, we're going to cover who you should be targeting. On day three, we're going to cover the exact methodology we use to pitch on LinkedIn and land five and six figure contracts. On day four, we're going to cover exactly how we use email to nurture our clients to getting on a call so that we can close them over the phone. And then on day five, we are going to cover million dollar implementation secrets because anybody that knows me knows I can implement my butt off. Okay, and not get overwhelmed in the process because some of you should be further along, but you're constantly getting overwhelmed by all the quote unquote things you have to do. There are certain belief systems that I need to teach you all to have that will take you from overwhelmed to managing your life like the CEOs that you are. And I'm going to do it in the pitch your way to cash challenge. Now, here's the deal. Here's the deal, y'all, because we just talked about y'all want to get paid to speak. You all want to do all that stuff blase blase okay here's the deal what i want you to do is go to pitch your way to cash.com or if you're on instagram you can dm me the word challenge but i want you to go to pitch your way to cash.com and i'm gonna show you what you're gonna do when you get there for those of you joining me on facebook literally you're gonna apply to attend the challenge now once you apply to attend this challenge it's gonna ask you one question it'll take you less than one second and if you answer yes it'll take you on to the landing page for the actual challenge. Okay. And here's one of the really cool things about this challenge. We have options for every single person. So if you are someone that is serious about growing your business, you're going to go to that website, pitch your way to cash.com. And what you're going to do is you are going to get a platinum pass to attend the challenge. And I want to explain how this works because we, I don't know, maybe y'all don't want Some of y'all are like, y'all want to change your lives or not? I mean, what, what are we doing here? Like we could literally just make this happen in five days. It's not even going to take that long. I'm talking less than a week, okay? So here's what we're going to do. You're going to go to this website. Only only people who want their lives to change. If you're like, my life is perfect. I don't need no change. What y'all talking about? Then maybe you go to google.com and you Google your way to the top. But for everyone else, right? For everybody else, you're going to go to pitchyourwaytocash.com. You're going to apply. It's July 25th to the 29th and it's live. It's not pre-recorded. It's live each day. And we normally do like, we start at, 12 p.m. Central. If you're VIP Platinum, we start at 1130 Central. And press the select your ticket type. It's going to show you the three ticket types that we have available. Y'all need to get y'all ticket tonight. When you get your ticket tonight, I'm going to be looking. I'll look in an hour or so because the people that get their tickets tonight, I am going to do something special for. I ain't going to say what. It's going to be a surprise. But we're going to do something special. We're going to send out an email to those who get their tickets tonight. And when I say tickets, I do not mean the free ticket. Now, here's the options. If you do the free option, I want to explain. Because some of y'all be like, I'm going to do it for free because, you know, I'm not going to invest. Let me explain this about investing. Investing is literally a seed. It's literally a seed. So whenever I put money and time towards a particular effort, what happens is I can have an expectation that I will reap from what I've sown. So over the past, last night, I stayed up really late with a girlfriend of mine and we were just working. We were putting in work, doing what we needed to do. This morning, you know what I woke up to? Sales. Well, why? Because I invested time into growing my business and writing some emails that inevitably got me some sales. Well, what did I do the day before that? The day before that, I invested money into advertising. And what I did with that advertising is I ran it, I put money into it, and I, the next day I got another sale. Well, I invested money, I reap money. Well, who stayed up with you until 1 a.m. so that you could write copy? Like, how do you get friends like that? I want business besties. Well, me and her are in the same program. So we got tight by investing money in coaching. So literally for the past week, I have been reaping what I've sown. When you invest money to have experiences with people who also invest money, y'all become friends because you like, girl, you dropping 20, I'm dropping 20K. You dropping 50K, I'm dropping 50K. I got another friend who's an avid reader. My best friend reads so many books. Like literally, she be sending me books. And so what do I do? I buy the books, I listen to them, I learn. And then what do I do? I go and make an impact with that. Here's the other thing. Y'all need to go ahead and invest money in growing your businesses because you have lives to change that are literally waiting on you to get the knowledge you need to meet them. Pitching for large clients for me isn't just about the five and six figures. 
It's just not. It's about the thousands of employees that I get to talk to who are on the edge of their rope, who don't have the confidence to talk to their boss. But when I give them those tools, now they know what to say. So for me, every time there's an opportunity for me to invest in my business and it aligns with my goals, I take it. I don't even hesitate. It's not even about the coach. It's not even about the program. It's about the seed. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Someone said, I've learned so much from this woman called Ashley Nicole Kirkwood. Get the book too. Amen. Okay. So look, we got a free option. Now, if you do the free option for my free people, because I feel like I do people a disservice by not explaining why free is not the way to go, but whatever. Free, if you get the free option, you can only watch the challenge live in the free Facebook group, which means when we stream it into the free Facebook group from um, 12 to 1.30, you have to watch it live because at tw whenever time it ends, within 10 minutes of me ending that live stream, my team is gonna remove those videos. There are zero replays. When you don't invest, you get less access. And this is the same principle in your businesses. When you don't invest in showing up confidently and having a nice camera and having a nice mic and doing all the things, you typically aren't going to make the same money as someone who has invested. So that's one. And after you all buy your tickets, just drop got mine in the comments so I know who to celebrate. So that's one. When you get your free pass, you ain't, you ain't really got much coming. You get a VIP pass. VIP passes are $97. You get access to the challenge. You get access to the group. You get access to the recordings during the duration of the challenge, which means our challenge ends on Friday. If you get the VIP pass, you'll get access until the following Monday to attend the challenge, right? And to watch the challenge recordings. Also with the VIP pass, you'll get our very popular Pitch, pitch Your Way to Cash playbook a week before the challenge starts. It has sample pitches in it. So you'll never have to worry about what to say. You get all that with the VIP pass. But then the platinum pass, somebody say platinum, okay? The platinum pass is you get everything, like literally the highest level at this challenge with a 297 platinum pass. It's $297. You get access to the challenge in the group. You get access to the recordings. You get access to the challenge workbook. You get instant access to a library of trainings that'll help you start learning as soon as you purchase your tickets. We put some off the book stuff in there. Literally, you get access to advanced access to some bonuses that we're going to do during the challenge. Because guess what? During this event, for people who invest and get the platinum pass, we're going to give them access to attend a training August 1st. That is, it's not even a training. It's a, it's a VIP day, August 1st with me, where like literally it's not even on the internet. You can't, you can't even attend unless you're like in the know. You know what I mean? It's going to be dope. It is here. The Speak Your Way to Cash book is now available for you to purchase. Go to Amazon to get your audio, Kindle, or hardcover copy of the book. And we have a paperback copy, okay? So you can get it on Audible and listen to it. And I read it myself. So if you love the podcast, you will love the audio book. Go get it now. Speak Your Way to Cash, how to start at the top of the speaking market instead of working your way up from the bottom. A bit about the book. It's broken down into six parts and it is over 260 pages of goodness, okay? Part one covers mindset. Part two covers getting yourself in the press. Part three covers assembling your six-figure offer. Part four covers inviting people to work with you, ahem, sales. Part five covers delivering an outstanding speech. And part six covers legalities that every speaker needs and how to build a team. I mean, literally, what did we leave out? Nothing. So go to Amazon and grab your copy today. And let me know you did it too. So they get advanced access to that. We only have a couple of spots for that. You get access to a special VIP challenge background because we're only, oh, I didn't even say this. Okay, with the Platinum Pass, the biggest, 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 biggest bonus and benefit of being a Platinum Challenge attendee is that you get to attend a Platinum Q&A 30 minutes before the challenge. So no one else, and thank you so much for dropping it in the chat. I appreciate you. No one else, like if you do a general pass, there's no Q&A. If you get a platinum pass, we have a Q&A before the challenge even starts where I answer the questions only for those who have the platinum pass. So to ask your question, you got to get a platinum pass. Now, here's what's crazy. It's less than 300 bucks and you could literally come and ask your specific question. I'm going to give you the best answer that I can give you in the time that's allotted. So it's, a bananas value. My VIP days are 25K. So for you to get to come, ask questions, five days of live training, all the things, like literally, 
no brainer. It's a no brainer offer. And then obviously, if you're VIP or platinum, your challenge experience will happen in a private VIP room. You won't have to even go into the Facebook group except for to announce your wins and things like that. So it's really, 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 really an incredible, incredible offer. We've never done the challenge like this. So for people who are like, well, I came to the last challenge. Will it be the same? It's different. We've never done a challenge like this. We've never done a five-day challenge before. This is our first time doing a five-day challenge, but we have done the Pitch Your Way to Cash Challenge and we wanted to expand it and we wanted to give an elevated experience to those who want it. Now, here's the deal. We only have 50 platinum passes and we've already sold dozens. I don't know how many we've sold today, but I know we have a few tickets left. But y'all, let me just be clear. It's about 40 of you guys on this live who've come in and out. If everyone who watched just this live video bought their passes today, we'd be sold out of platinum. So don't delay on getting your platinum pass because I'm also running ads because I told y'all I invest like I invest. And I believe one of the reasons why I market so consistently and so deliberately is because I am searching for my people. Like I know that there are people on the planet that I am supposed to transform, help and change. And one of the ways that I'm going to make sure that I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, what I'm put on this earth to do, one of the ways that I'm going to do that is by marketing and telling people what I do and telling them how I can help them. Because I really believe that when you share your message, when you share your voice, when you share your vision, there are certain individuals that are going to hear that and be like, oh my gosh, that's my coach. That's who I'm supposed to work with. I have had people email me saying, Ashley, I was just praying to God for an opportunity like this to learn about something like this. And there you were, I saw you in an ad or I saw you here or I saw you there. A lot of people believe that miracles only come in one form. I really genuinely believe that us having the internet, us having the ability to run advertising, us having the ability to live stream, us having the ability to leverage technology in ways that people literally would have considered miraculous centuries ago is a miracle. And for us to not utilize it is a huge, 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 huge mistake. And so for all of my entrepreneurs out there who are like, I have a message. I'm good. People should know about me. How much do you care about the people that should know about you? Because if you really care about the people that should know about you, then I want you to go and find your people. I want you to go and pitch for your people. And I want you to position yourself in a way in the marketplace that when people hear your voice, they know that you're the one they should be learning from. You're the one they should be investing with. OK, like literally we think marketing is selfish. Marketing is an act of service too. like people need what you all have to offer. And so I'm teaching pitching strategies and I'm teaching sales strategies. But in all actuality, I am just teaching you all how to find the people that you were placed on this earth to help change. How sad would it be that you have the answer that someone else needs? They just don't know about you yet. And when you pitch, the amazing thing about pitching y'all is that I don't just pitch for clients. I, every single TV feature I've done, I pitched for every single one. Like I'm not a, I shouldn't say I'm not a celebrity, but one of uh, my friends texted me, she was like, we're celebs. <laughs> so I won't, I'm not gonna say I'm not. I'm gonna say that like now at this point in my business, I get really awesome opportunities in my inbox. But in the beginning, I know what it feels like to be exceptionally talented and people not know about you. I know what it feels like to be gifted and degreed and experienced and people not know about you. And I know that that feeling can sometimes feel like, dang, when is it going to be my turn? What if I told you it could have been your turn yesterday? Like, what if I told you that you don't have to wait on someone else to recognize your brilliance? You could just put yourself in rooms where your brilliance is accepted and that they're looking for it. What if I told you that you have the power to change your own life by leveraging technology and the power of positioning that we teach? What if I told you that if you just learn certain confidence principles that I have leveraged in my life, your income would change forever. And what if I told you that your income changing forever is directly tied to your level of impact in the world? I'm not saying that you have to be rich to be impactful. I'm saying that if your goal is to impact more people with your products and services, you will also naturally increase your revenue. Like what if, what if it's not the devil holding you back? What if it's the fact that you don't have the skill sets that you need to get in the right position? Like, what if it's not your family holding you back? What if it's not your spouse? What if it's not your kids? What if it's not any of that? What if it's that you have not developed the number one skill set to ensure that your revenue never dries up? 
What if you had the power all along? And what if you don't come to this challenge and you're in the exact same position next month when you have an opportunity to change your life this month? I'm just, what if? Because so many times when people are faced with an an investment opportunity, they think about all the things that can go wrong. Oh, what if it doesn't work? What if I don't show up? What if it won't work out for me? What if it's all a scam? What if it's all a da 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 Like all these things. First off, I'm a Northwestern trained lawyer. Went to the University of Illinois. Got all the degrees and credentials and worked in a highly regulated field. I'm not only a coach. I also abide by ethical rules too. So the truth of the matter is I ain't the risk. I don't know what you're going to do, but what if, what if you invest in the challenge, you show up all five days live, camera on for a couple hours, you take notes, you do whatever it takes to be there. And then that following week or, or during the challenge, you send out a pitch that could change everything for you. We had someone come to our challenge, use a principle I think we taught on day one and go on to land a 7K a month recurring contract. We've had people come to our events, hear one line of what we're talking about. And their next negotiation is triple what it would have been. If they posted in our free Facebook group, you could go to my free Facebook group and just scroll and search challenge and you will see loads of wins and testimonials. You can go on my Instagram page. I pinned a post of certain brilliant clients that we've worked with who've gotten really incredible results. They were already brilliant. You're already powerful. You're already successful. You may not be walking in the fullness of who you are, but that doesn't mean that it's not within you. So instead of thinking of what if it don't work out, instead of giving yourself all the excuses in the world why you shouldn't invest, why you shouldn't take that next step, I want you all to invest in yourselves, take the next step, assume that it'll all work out and put expectations on your investment. I'm just saying, because it could all work out. Like literally, I know what I have seen in my life, time when I have been like apprehensive to make an investment and I don't make it. And I have watched other people make that investment and just grow and soar. I've also seen in my life the cost of skepticism. Mm, I wasn't even gonna go here tonight, but I feel like somebody may need this. I'm about to go somewhere. Y'all stay right there. Stay right where you're at. You listen to this on the podcast, stay right where you're at. I have seen the cost I have seen the cost of skepticism. I have seen the cost of people who think everybody's out to get them. I have seen the cost of people who can't move forward because they never healed from the hurt of their past. And what I've seen is it prevents them from building relationships. It prevents them from capitalizing on opportunities. It prevents them from getting the help that they need. It prevents them from being vulnerable enough to get guidance. It prevents them from living in the fullness of the beauty of the life that God gave us. And I refuse to pay the price of assuming that better isn't out there for me. I refuse. People talk about the money they can't afford. I can't afford the cost of skepticism. I can't afford the cost of doubt. I can't afford the cost of lack and delay. I can't afford the cost of assuming that I'll be here for my entire life and not fulfilling my destiny. I can't afford that. I can't afford that. Shout out. Yes. Shout out to you. Just bought that all access pass. Yes. I love it. I love it. That's what I can't afford. That's what I can't afford y'all. Like literally we don't know what's coming. If the pandemic taught us nothing else, we don't know what's coming. So every day I can, I'm gonna do it for every day. I can't, I'm not going to assume that I will always have the energy and the stamina to go like I can go now, but I'm in a season where I can. I'm in a season where I can serve you all. I'm in a season where I am seeing visions of how impactful Speak Your Way to Cash is going to be on the lives of our clients. And I'm in a season where I'm so excited by that, that I can invest in it. That's where I, like, that's where I'm at. Like, we're in that season. I cannot afford not to. You know what I mean? So I'm excited about all of you that I'm going to serve. Um, Hey, Tracy, I'm so excited about meeting you soon. I'm really, 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 really excited about all of the, you all that I'm going to serve. I'm excited to coach you. Just know... I am always thinking the best for you. I am planning for you to do great things. Those who work with me and invest with us, I assume that greatness is already within you. I always say like, we don't help like people that are losing. We just help winners win more. Like I assume that the people that God has called me to work with are those who are powerful, who just need a little bit of help with positioning. I assume that when you're coming into this challenge, you are ready for your life to be transformed and you're ready to do the work. And for all of you who feel overwhelmed, I want to leave you guys with this. I remember feeling overwhelmed about the business and the, I have a baby, I have a two-year-old, I have a husband, I have employees, I have people that I work with. We're hiring heavy right now to get me some additional help. And I'm working really difficult. I'm working really long hours right now because we don't have, we're understaffed. And I remember feeling overwhelmed and the, I believe 
the Holy Spirit was talking to me and he was just like, if you are overwhelmed, like if you can't handle where you're at now, why are you praying for so much more? Like, why would a good father give you more on your plate than you can physically eat? Like, I'm a mom. If my daughter can't eat this little bit of food, I'm not going to give her a whole lot more food. That cured me of the overwhelm thing. Like, I was like, oh, no, I can handle this. I can handle this. I'm not going to be praying for big and the small is taking me out. I'm just not. I'm going to learn to better manage. I'm going to get still so I can hear clearly who I need to hire. I'm going to do the things that is required of me, but I'm not going to be praying for big when the small is taking me out. And so every time you think you are feeling overwhelmed with where you're at, I want you to consider the vision and where you are supposed to go in your life. And I need you to determine that you will not let small take you out because there is greater for you. And then I want you to sit down and write out a plan for how you're going to tackle what's on your plate. And I need you to give up being so controlling. Because if you're anything like me, a part of the reason why overwhelm comes is because you're controlling and you feel like you could do everything really well. And so you do everything yourself. Once I started to outsource, some of that overwhelm went away. And guess what, y'all? You need to have faith that even if you let go and you let someone else come in and they work on something that you really care about, and maybe they don't do it just like you, you need to have faith that what you put on that foundation is strong enough to withstand that. But do not pray for big when the smallest is taking you out. I'm not, I, that was my takeaway. I ain't gonna tell you what to and not pray for. I'm saying that's what I told myself. I told myself, I'm not gonna pray for big when the smallest is taking me out. I'm going to invest in getting more skills so that I can manage what's on my plate so that I can handle the growth and the vision that I'm seeing for the future. We're gonna impact thousands of speakers. You all have heard me say it this year for the first time, but our, our mission at Speak Your Way to Cash is to help 1,000 speakers land their first $1 million in speaking and consulting contracts through our suite of services, period. And, and really globally. And immediately after putting that vision out there, half of our clients are outside of the country, okay? I think someone else just went and got their platinum pass celebrating you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all, this is going to be off the chain. We got, we're going to get rid of all 50. Really? Here's what it should be. The 50 of you all that are on this live right now from Instagram and, and Facebook. And, and I know it's thousands of you all listening to this on the podcast. So y'all, hopefully you all hear it soon. If you don't, if you haven't noticed, we've been posting an episode every single day. But if you're listening to this on the podcast, I'm going to make sure Sergio posts this really soon because I don't want you all to miss out on getting the platinum passes. Okay. I really don't. I really don't. I really don't. So I want to be really clear, you guys, we have work to do. We have work to do. I, and I say we because I know the people that I attract care about more than money. The money is just like, it just helps them to make the impact. It's Money is a tool, not a measuring stick. Someone ain't better than you because they have more money than you. Someone's not worse than you because they have less. Money is just a tool. I just may have, they just have more tools. They just got more tools to do more stuff with, right? So like money is a tool. It's not a measuring stick, but the money can be critically important to the mission and making sure you get done what you have to get done. For us as a company, we have to make money because we help, we employ people. We, we give people jobs. You know, I don't collect every dollar that comes through the door. Not at all, not close. Like we we got expenses as a company. And so it's important that we are good stewards over what we have. It's really, really, really important. And so for those of you who just joined, what we're talking about is the Pitch Your Way to Cash challenge is coming up. We are going to do an incredible, incredible challenge in about nine days. Let me see, because we have a countdown timer on here. We have 10 days, 10 days until the challenge. We only have 50 platinum tickets, I believe about... 15 or 20 of those are going to be gone by the end of today because last I checked before this live we had some gone and some some of you all on here have already taken action and decided to invest in your future and I'm excited about that and so what I would say for those for you all like there is a free ticket but if you get the free ticket you can only watch it in the Facebook group and immediately after we're done streaming Marvick is going to delete that video and she is on it with that if you get the VIP pass you have access to the group access to the challenge, access to the playbook, and you'll get to watch the replays during the time the challenge takes place, okay? So until the, the Monday following the challenge, you'll get to watch it. But if you're platinum, you get access to a plat, you get everything else, and you get access to a platinum pre-event Q&A where I will personally answer your questions before the challenge. 30 minutes before, me and all my platinum pass holders do a Q&A where we only answer the questions of those who have the platinum pass. And it's a really cool opportunity for you to get your question answered directly from me. And it's it's also a great opportunity because you get to watch the replays. You get some bonus trainings that you can start watching right after you buy your ticket. You get a special background so we know that you're platinum and we answer your questions. And you'll get invited to apply 
for a bonus session that we're going to do during the challenge if you are platinum as well. So go and get that platinum ticket. It is $297. The VIP pass is $97. And then we have a general pass that is super limited and I do not recommend, but we have a general pass as well that has no cost. So I would recommend for all of you who are serious about growing your business to get the platinum pass. Simple as that. Get the platinum pass. And also just like someone asked, how do you attract high end buyers? And I was like, I first became one. Like, you know, I just became one. And and I didn't mean that in a, a snobby way. I just I meant it literally like the reason I knew who I wanted to serve was because I remember going to really nice hotels and realizing, wow. When you pay more for your hotel, your bed is softer. You pay more for your hotel, the service is better. You know, I go to like a, I go to one hotel and it's like, oh, thank you for checking in. I go to another hotel, I may get warm cookies. The hotel that we're having our event at, they're giving out warm cookies to the guests when they check in. That's really dope. So we may go to another hotel. Like I like the Peninsula of Chicago. Oh, I love it there. We'll go there and they, they don't say thank you. They say my pleasure. And so what that taught me was, okay, if I'm going to have high-end buyers and I'm going to sell high-end products, we need to make sure that we have good service. We have to respond to people. We have to be excited about responding. We have to thank them for their service. And so I became a high-end, I sell to high-end clients with ease because I understand high-end experiences. And so I would recommend to everyone that if you want to serve high-end clients and you're, you want to land a $10,000, $20,000 contract, 300 bucks is literally not even an investment. That's like, and these, these are, we're talking about write-offs here, personal development. So I would recommend everyone get their platinum pass to the Picture Way to Cash Challenge. I am celebrating all of you that bought it while on this live Hold on, I'll have something going out to you guys who get it while we're on this live. I've got to do something, something special. I'll I'll find something and make sure you all get it. Those of you who bought your platinum pass during this live as well. Yeah, darling, that's a really good question. Um, What if you've not started your business and you're not sure of your focus? So one of the things that we cover on day two of the challenge is who to target, who to target, okay? So you will know kind of like who I should be targeting because even if you haven't started your speaking and consulting practice yet, you should have already acquired an expertise that we can help you package. And so I don't know the specifics of your situation, but if you get your platinum pass, then you can ask me the question in the Q&A and I'll be able to kind of give you some guidance from there and hopefully give you some help you get some clarity on where you should be starting off. But honestly, y'all, I started pitching before my website was cute, before I had a whole lot of testimonials, before I had everything dialed in, before I had a really beautifully well-written speech. I started putting myself out there so I could get the no's because no's are literally a stairwell to yeses, okay? And most people who are highly successful have just had experienced more rejection than other people. Like if you go back on this podcast, you'll find an episode where it's like what I learned from 20,000 sales calls. I literally got rejected 900 times a day for several months of my life as an inside sales rep, did over 20,000 sales calls. We just brought on a new account manager and he has the right attitude. And I'm really excited about seeing him rise in the company. And the first thing you need is to get over that fear of rejection. And that is why we, our first day is all about getting over that fear of rejection and building up that confidence and doing what needs to be done. It really will change the way you do your business. So I welcome those who are just starting out. I welcome those who've already started, who already have a speaking business and who just want to go to the next level. Like a lot of our clients, we have clients who've already made six figures who come and just learn how to make even more, how to double their contracts values. So I'm really excited about you all doing what needs to be done. I'm excited about you all joining me in the challenge. If you are, just let me know in the comments and we will celebrate you. And I'm going to go ahead and look at those who already bought their ticket during this live. What I'll do, I'm going to end the live in a minute, but I will say those who buy their ticket before 9.30 p.m., check your email by midnight and I'll have something special coming to you. So if you buy, now not if you do the free ticket now, come on. But if you buy one of the VIP tickets, I'll do it. And if you if you buy the platinum ticket, for sure, we'll do something special. So if you buy either one of the VIP tickets, we'll do it. But I really, really, really recommend that people get the platinum pass because that's going to allow you access to the platinum Q&A. And that is where you're going to get to ask me questions. So I'm going to check at 9.30 p.m. Central Time. And then I'll go ahead and send something out before I check in for the night. But yeah. All right, y'all. This was good. Good chat. Good talk. Okay. Good chat. <laughs> So go ahead and the link is in my Instagram bio, but it is pitchyourwaytocash.com. That's P-I-T-C-H, yourwaytocash.com. And I think someone actually posted it. So let me pin the comment. Okay. So it's pitchyourwaytocash.com, pitchyourwaytocash.com. So I'll check back in at 9.30 p.m. CST and kind of see where we're at. And I'll send you all out something tonight. So check your emails tonight for a uh, login access. I'm gonna give y'all access to a, um, access to a training. It's gonna think about which one it is.
it's gonna be it's gonna be a good one though. We have a lot we have a lot of trainings in our in our back pocket that aren't public <laughs> that I can kind of leverage and give out when I when I got some cool people coming in. So excited about that! I will see you all in the challenge. It is going to be off the chain. Cannot wait to see you all there. And like I said, nine thirty p.m. Central. So you got twenty minutes if you're watching this live to go and get your pass, and I'll do something special for you on the back end, and I'll send it out tonight. I'll have a member of my team send it out tonight to all those who get their ticket by uh, midnight today. All right. All right, y'all. Well, have a good night. I'm so excited about welcoming y'all in. Talk to y'all a little bit later. Oh, and this is Ashley of the Speaking Ready Catch podcast. I will see y'all soon. All right. Wasn't that interview amazing? If you're anything like me, you have pages full of notes. But here's the thing. Before you head out, I want you to go to facebook.com and... Join the Speak Your Way to Cash Facebook group. That is where I am. That's where a ton of other speakers are, a ton of other people who listen to the show. All We all congregate there and chat. And it's 100% free. Now, if you're ready to take your speaking career to the next level, I have two ways for you to do that. One, you can go to ashleynicolekirkwood.com slash SYWTC live replay and pick up the live replay. That training is seven modules, chock full of information. It's crazy. Go over there, read all about it. Or if you want a more personal experience, you're already, you already know that you want to be a speaker. You're ready to fully commit and you want someone to walk you through it and save you tons of time Googling and doing it on your own. Then book a VIP day with me. You can go to AshleyNicoleKirkwood.com. Scroll down until you see the VIP day section and get more information on that there. All right. Thank you guys again for watching. Please do not forget to leave us a review. That is how we keep this train rolling and get some of the best speakers in the world to get on this show. So please, please, please leave a review. Shoot me a message on Facebook or Instagram and Facebook in the Speaker Way to Cash group, Instagram at, at the Ashley Nicole Show. And I'd be more than happy to chat with you and say hi. All right, y'all have an awesome, awesome day.